Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the five big Copilot Studio announcements that you need to know. And what's happened is in the last month or two, there were so many new things that came out about Copilot Studio. In fact, even I have mentioned a few of them in my other videos, but what I thought is I would summarize all of it in this video and even call out some important ones that I've missed. So stick around. This is very important for everyone. But first, here's my intro video. So the first message is about the name change for the currency used in Copilot Studio. Previously, we would call them as messages. Now it is called as Copilot credits. And here is the Microsoft documentation that calls it out. It says, starting on September 1st of 2025, the common currency for agents changed from messages to Copilot credits. So if I scroll down over here, it also gives an example. Copilot credit packs, which before you used to call that as message packs, which was $200 per tenant per month. Instead of calling that as 25,000 messages, now we say you get 25,000 Copilot credits. And the same thing also goes for the pay as you go. Uh, previously, it used to be one cent for every message. Now it is the same one cent for every Copilot credit. So the utilization of the amount is the exact same, all right? That $200 for the pack or the $100 for the per credit, that consumption model is the exact same. It's just that the terminology has changed. And all of this took effect from September 1st. And the one thing I liked about this name change was consistency, because we were already using the term credits in the AI builder. So here's an example. I went ahead and created a model, and when I go ahead and use it, you see in the estimated consumption, it is telling me 126 credits. So the term credits was already being used. We were very familiar with it. So bringing that over into the Copilot Studio side and now calling it as Copilot credits was just consistency throughout the Power Platform. And that is why I welcome this change. Second, the name Agent Builder, it is renamed to Copilot Studio Lite. And I'm so happy that they finally agreed to a name because Agent Builder was a term we were very loosely using it and that was the only consistent name that we had. So we were all using it. Even Microsoft was using the term Agent Builder. But now they've actually gone ahead and called that as Copilot Studio Lite. So just to make sure that you and I are on the same page, this is what Agent Builder is. When you go to your Microsoft 365 Copilot, right over here on its home page, see on the left navigation, there's something called as Create Agents. This does take you to a lighter version of Copilot Studio, where you can go ahead and create these agents. You can either give it by description or configure it exactly the way you want it. Now, this doesn't have all the bells and whistles as this Copilot Studio has, and therefore they call this one as the Copilot Studio full experience. So whether you like name changes or not, you have to agree that at least this makes sense. And once again, the Copilot Studio over here in the Microsoft 365 Copilot, that is called as the light one, L-I-T-E, while this Copilot Studio is called as the full experience. And this was announced in this Microsoft documentation whose link is down in the description below because it's giving you a breakdown of the two categories and also goes ahead and gives you a summary. This is where it states that choose the light experience, formerly agent builder. And for the full experience, that's what it is called. It is the Copilot Studio full experience. Third, no charge to your Copilot credits if the users of the agent have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. Now, I did a deep dive on this topic last week, but I'm gonna repeat a few things over here. What this change basically means is that, say if you were going and buying your credits uh, to build the agent, then over here, you will have to keep a very close eye on the billing rate because depending on which features you use, you will be consuming into your credits. However, if the end users, all right, the people who actually use the agent, if they have the Microsoft 365 Copilot user license assigned to them, then guess what? There is no charge whatsoever. Those users will not dip into this credit consumption whatsoever because they already have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. The only catch over here is that agent of yours that you're building has to be inside the Microsoft 365 umbrella, which means these agents include the SharePoint agent, the ones that you push out in Microsoft Teams, 
or also on your Microsoft 365 Copilot. And I will tell you this, now that you have so much free stuff coming out because of this Microsoft 365 Copilot, either in the light agent or the full experience agent, this license, which was very expensive, is getting more and more attractive now. So if you thought that this was just not an option anymore, I would highly recommend you reconsider buying these licenses now. Fourth is a connection wizard that is now available to make a connection to an MCP server. And this is available in Copilot Studio. And I can demonstrate that to you. In my existing agent, when I go to tools, I click on add a new tool, this pop-up window comes up. When I click on model context protocol and select a plus new tool, you're already familiar with this add tool window that comes up. However, now when I click on model context protocol, this new window shows up. This is in preview, but what it lets you do is add a MCP server connection directly. So you do have to go ahead and add all of these connection parameters like the server name, description, URL, and which is the authentication type that you will select. But after you connect it, you can directly tie that in over here. And this is perfect for your scenarios where you already have an MCP server, but you do not have an existing out of the box connection to an MCP server. Not a problem anymore. You just come over here, click on the plus new tool, model context protocol, and you can make your own connection following this connection wizard. This is really new. This is fantastic. We needed this yesterday. Thank you, Microsoft, for providing this to us. Five is the ability to consume a fabric data agent in Copilot Studio. This is currently under preview. So you know how in Copilot Studio, we can go ahead and take all the existing knowledge that we have and we can build an agent out of it? Fabric does the exact same thing. You can go ahead and use all the data that you have and build an agent with it. Hence the term Fabric Data Agent. Now, to build that Fabric Data Agent, there are some prerequisites and they're listed right over here. So in addition to the Microsoft 365 Copilot license for the agent, you also need to have all of these other prerequisites. But once you've got that Fabric Data Agent created, you can actually pull that into Copilot Studio. And let me show you where you can do that. So back over here in Copilot Studio, I go to my agents, I click on plus add agent, and now you can see the Microsoft Fabric. And when I click on it, this looks very similar to when we are adding all our other Copilot Studio agents. Here, the only change is we are actually adding a Microsoft Fabric Data Agent. And this is where all of these prerequisites come into play. Obviously, you need that Microsoft 365 Copilot license for all those custom agents we've built in the Copilot Studio, but you also need to have all these prerequisites. Why? Because you need to have that Fabric agent first. But this one is pretty awesome because all that work that you did on the Fabric side to build that data agent, you could pull that into Copilot Studio and have one synergy between your Copilot Studio custom agent and your Fabric data agent in one place. So I know in this video, I just gave you an overview. However, if you are interested in deep diving any of those five points that I just made, then I've put those links down in the description below. Also, if you're interested in building Fabric Data Agent, then go check out Guy in a Cube's video. He has deep dived that in his channel and that link is also in the description below. Hopefully this video was useful to you and as always, keep using Copilot Studio. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.